Hello and welcome everyone, my name is Mr. Green and I am here on my brand new server guys. That's right, we set up a server. It's, well, it's kind of set up. Um, I'm working on it guys, I promise. We are here though, we have a server, it's, it's up, it's live, it is called The Green Room. I don't know if there's actually any kind of name on the world itself. It just says 1.17 server here. Anyway, we do have uh, a server, guys. We have the capabilities of having up to 32 players, I believe. I did pay for a, a bigger server. Um, we didn't get, like, the most budget basic one. We got one that had a decent amount of memory. And I was told it could support up to a decent amount of players. Right now, the player limit is set to 32. I can actually up that. Um, but we're going to keep it at about 32 right now. We are opening up the application process, guys. I actually got done creating the application just uh, like an hour ago. So you guys can go join my Discord. Wait, what? Mr. Green has the Discord? Yes, I do. I got it set up, guys. It's uh, um, we, We've actually had a Discord for a little while. There's a few of you guys that are in my Discord, but it's it's a dead Discord. I don't ever get in it. Um, Like, yeah. I don't ever go in the Discord. I don't do anything in the Discord. But now we have set up the Discord again so that we can use it properly. We can get you guys in there. We have a new section of the Discord that is called the server waitlist. And inside the server waitlist, you will have a link to the application where you guys will be able to fill out the application, give me your guys' names and stuff, and fill out just a small little questionnaire kind of about yourself and the things you guys like and dislike about minecraft and just kind of did let me get to know you guys a little bit better and uh hopefully here in the next week or two we are actually going to be opening up the server to actual players so you guys are going to have to give me another week maybe two weeks i i have to get like the main server hub like the spawn area i gotta go build that like I, i'm putting all my kind of projects off to the side to get this started for you guys so I hope some of you guys are going to be excited about this. The server will actually feature my main behavior pack. If some of you guys know about that one, it's my better survival behavior pack. I am going to tweak it a little bit because it does have a few overpowered things in it that I don't really want to include on the server. I want to try to keep it a little more vanilla for you guys because that's the idea of this server is it's supposed to just kind of be a fun, friendly, survival multiplayer kind of place. For you guys to come hang out, have fun, and see what all you guys can do in survival. As well as my behavior pack, we are going to have a couple of Foxy No-Tails behavior packs. If you guys are familiar with him, he does some amazing things. And he has a couple of add-on packs that I really enjoy that are the Mob Heads and the Mini Block behavior packs. Some of you guys may have seen it in my Hardcore series. But if we go ahead and look here in the creative menu, you guys will see all the normal spawn eggs. But then down below here, we have all these extra spawn eggs for like the mini blocks and for the mob heads that you guys can actually get in survival mode. So all of these different mob heads have a random chance to drop from all the different mobs on the server. And all the mini blocks can actually be purchased from the wandering trader. So if we go ahead and spawn out a wandering trader here and give him a little punch, you guys are going to see that he now offers a few different trades in the mini block category. So you guys can get some mini stained glass. You guys can get some mini kelp blocks, some mini what is this green concrete and mycelium and pumpkins. A mini pumpkin that looks pretty awesome. Now, along with the other behavior packs, we also have one final behavior pack that some of you guys might like. I am not a big fan of keep inventory, but I also don't want you guys to be getting upset, dying and losing your stuff because you couldn't get back in time. So we went ahead and put on something. This is thanks to Exumavoid from uh, Hermitcraft, if some of you guys may know him. He has an amazing website called Bedrock Tweaks, and he has another one called Vanilla Tweaks. One is just for Bedrock and one is just for Java. But I went ahead and got one of his behavior packs that allows you to. So as soon as you guys die, you're going to notice right there a little stone brick kind of, what is that, like a stone brick wall? 
looks like it spawned in. So when you guys go ahead and hit the respawn button, um, apparently I'm in a village. Now if we go ahead and come back over here to our actual grave, this is what this is. It's an entity. So um, these are really cool. I've tested these out a lot. They work really good, like in the lava. Like I've gone into the nether and drowned into a pool of lava, and these things will spawn above the lava. Like I'm, I'm very impressed. This is probably the best grave add-on I've ever used, and I'm, I'm very happy that we have it. But it also will not allow you to do grave robbing. So if you walk up to a grave that is not yours and try to open it, it won't let you access it. But all you guys got to do is walk up to it and hit the little trigger right there, and it'll open up the grave for you. And that way you guys can get your stuff back. And finally, one of the last things to really say about the server, I don't know if you guys can really tell from just kind of looking around, I have actually gone ahead and enabled the 1.8, 1.18 caves and cliffs features on the server. So you guys, you guys will be able to find the lush caves. You guys will be able to find the new generations. Like, look at this down in this little pond right here. Like, look at this thing. Uh, I've, I've already been exploring just a little bit to check it out, but look how insane these things get like <laughs> It just goes way way down in here and then look at this All right, so I was exploring this the other day and I I've, I've, I wandered back in here. Look at this. All right Oh my god, you guys ready? All right, so this is insane um I've already found some uh, underwater lava pools. If you guys can see that down there, that's that is lava, that is underwater. So look at this. We can actually swim down. That 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 that's lava. We're we're, we're swimming, and then that's that that that's lava. <laughs> guys, we're gonna have some fun on this server. I'm telling you. But yeah, these are the caves with the night vision on, guys. Like, look at this. It's just insane. So, if you guys are wanting to check out the new generation and do it on a server where we can all kind of have fun together and just hang out. Like, look at this. We got a lush cave right here at the spawn. I didn't even know this was underneath the spawn, guys. <laughs> Literally the first time I'm seeing this. Oh, my goodness. That is so cool. So yeah, if you guys want to join the server, make sure you go join our Discord. We will have the link for the Discord down below. You guys can join the Discord, and inside the Discord, you guys will be able to go see the link for the application. Like I said, guys, it's just inside the server waitlist channel. It's pretty easy to find. Join the Discord, look at the channels, you'll be able to find it, no problem. And I really hope to have this up and running in the next, like, like I said, guys, I hope to have this up and running in the next week or so for you. Hopefully, it doesn't take... I don't see it taking more than two weeks. I got to learn what I need to learn about how to control and run the server. So that way I can be, you know, a proper admin and be able to manage it properly. Because I don't want this server getting out of control and all you guys' hard work just getting destroyed by some idiot that joined the server. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Until next time, guys, my name is Mr. Green, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.